On, sit yourself down here. Yes. The whole point of a summoning ritual is for a dead person's spirit to possess a living person's body. You saw what happened to that Oni samurai spirit. After leaving the host's body, he was only able to maintain his form for a very short time before disappearing. Are we positive that summoning a spirit to possess the Traveler isn't gonna have any lasting negative consequences? Oh, you really care about the little one quite a lot, don't you? Hmm, I'm a little jealous. I wish my friends were caring like that. <laughs> anyway, are you scared, little friend? Don't you worry now, it'll be over soon. Just think of it like... having a dream. Sit on the chair, stare at the painting, and relax your body and mind. But try and be natural. There's really no need to be nervous. It's like she's sitting inside the painting. Recite the incantation in your heart, little one. Also, you'll need to have some intense thoughts going through your head. A wish, for example. Now, what kind of wish do we think it would take to summon forth the author of A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits? Anyone? Um, probably something to do with writing? Very good. The wish needs to be heartfelt, though, so let me help add a little realism to the equation. The book is selling exceptionally well, Traveler, but we're going to need an outline for Chapter 4 as soon as humanly possible. When is the earliest that you can turn it in by? The painting is moving again! What the...? <laughs> I never thought the day would come when I'd be summoned using my own ritual. <sighs> Getting a taste of my own medicine. What have we here? Another budding writer? What's come over you all? Why is everyone wishing for help with their writing? Are novels so popular in this day and age? We got you! So you were the one who wrote a first-hand guide to summoning spirits! trying to do, hmm? Why'd you put that summoning incantation in the book, huh? What's your game here? Huh? What's this? Oh, <laughs> I see. No wonder this felt so familiar. I've walked right into your trap, haven't I? You ask me what my game is here? Well, of course. It was to use this incantation as a means for all the souls of the departed yokai to make their glorious return to the world and plunge all of Inazuma into a brutal, bloody war! What? Paimon knew it! You had an evil plan all along! Oh, did you now? Then how naive of you to let me possess this body so easily. I sense... Yes, great power within her. Good. Good! With this power, no one shall be able to stand in my way! <laughs> wake up! Quick! Wake up! We gotta stop him! <laughs> it is futile. You shall never wake her again. This body now belongs to me! Hey! Come on, wake up! Don't let him take your mind! Miko, think of something! Miko! Miko!
Yusai, you haven't changed a bit. You caught on so quickly. Too perfect. <laughs> well, you made the face enough times that I couldn't exactly miss the hint. This is what you were going for, yes? Never one to stand on the sidelines of a good spectacle, are you? Always got to dive in and fan the flames, ah, huh? you mischievous little kitsune, you. Look what you've done to this little flying one here. Aw, oh, poor thing scared witless. <laughs> you were having plenty of fun playing the bad guy a moment ago. Now you're trying to blame it all on me? Urakasai? Miko, you guys know each other? Yes, we do. Of course we do. <laughs> Allow me to formally introduce the author of A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, Urakusai. Uh, no, wait. To be more accurate, it's Urakusai's memory. Memory? But isn't he a spirit? Ah, spirits, memories. They're just different words to describe the same thing. Something that comes from the ley lines. Do you remember that recent incident when the rift towns were gnawing at the sacred Sakura's roots? You witnessed human memories leaking from the ley lines, didn't you? Well, since there are human memories, of course there are going to be yokai memories too. In life, yokai possess supernatural powers, and even when they are a shadow of their former selves from a bygone era, they still have the ability to control whether they are visible or not. Typically, yokai memories survive longer in the world than those of humans. <laughs> indeed, indeed. I was wandering around the sacred Sakura's roots when I suddenly heard someone yelling, Please, someone, anyone, help me write a truly amazing novel. It piqued my curiosity, so I popped inside his body and wrote a novel for him. So that's how it happened. But you include a summoning incantation in the novel? Oh, little one. Not to toot my own horn here, but when I was alive, I wasn't just another Kitsune, no. I was a mighty and powerful Daioko. The memories of other yokai can't possess human bodies at will like I can. But with this incantation, they can go one last little joyride in the world for a couple of days. Anything they're still itching to do, they can go and get it done. Uh, but... but... She's trying to say that all the commotion this causes is likely to be a great disturbance to the humans. Disturbance? <laughs> I guess you mean that we might leave them with some broken dreams after we leave, hmm? Oh, yes. And they might have a fever or whatever. But you know, I actually think that the most admirable thing about human beings is the way that they go out and shape their fate with their own two hands, given that they're not born blessed with the same powers that we enjoy. As for those who would rather draw an external power than seek to improve themselves, it's quite right that they learn their lesson eventually. So when you think about it, we're actually doing the humans a big favor. Miko, you agree, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what I thought, too. All right, then. You finally convinced Paimon you guys were right. What are you scared of, little one? Don't be deceived by her day-to-day -day antics. Miko is actually one of the most powerful yokai out there. Mm, not only that, Irakusai, but my latest work has beaten that book you wrote, A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, to become the most popular in Inazuma. Hmm, of course. You were never one to make extra work for yourself where you can help it. And yet you went to all these lengths to find my painting room, and even took the trouble to summon me. I knew you must have some ulterior motive. You were always the one to pick a quarrel with me when we all used to gather around and share stories. All right, all right. You win, I lose. Happy now? Ha! <laughs> I finally get to hear you say it centuries later. Ooh, I must say it feels good. Hmm. I remember when you were just a little girl, always hanging off my shoulders. A few hundred years later, and you're all grown up. Oh, Urakusai, how much time do you have left? Hmm. Not much. That goes for all of us, actually. 
We've all got to go back where we came from in the end. Everyone's quite content in many ways, but they still can't help but ask, are we ever going to have another Hyakyako? <laughs> Don't you worry about that, Urakusai. Arrangements are being made. When my bell rings, it means the moonless night is upon us. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. Fantastic. Miko, it's been nice catching up. But I'd better conserve my energy if I want to stick it out until then. So, I'll be on my way now. All right. Goodbye then, Urakusai. Uh, one last thing, Miko. I just want to know. Have you been well all these years? I've been great, of course. Every day is a happy one. Especially these days. Not only do I have my light novels, but I've also met these two delightfully nosy outlanders. And even A is finally starting to come to her senses. Quite a miracle, given how pig-headed she can be. Oh, well, great. That's fantastic. Urakusai, you'd be right at home in this era. A great storyteller and artist like yourself would be the Yai Publishing House's ace in the hole. And I would personally be hounding you over your next installment. <laughs> he disappeared! Are you awake? How are you feeling? Are you all there? Here, like last time, repeat after me. Oh, you beat me to it. Looks like your brain is intact. So, your first possession, hmm? What was it like? <laughs> Good. Saves me from having to explain everything again. Hearing Urakusai admit defeat has put me in the most wonderful mood. In return, it's only fair that we make sure to deliver on what they're all hoping for. Yes. Though they only represent a tiny proportion of the memories in the ley lines, it will still be quite a sight to behold when the time comes. Since you've come this far, why don't you do one last thing for me, hmm? I'll need your help with the ritual. You cannot be serious, Miko! After all that, you still have more errands for us? <sighs> you guys teamed up to scare Paimon just now! If you think Paimon's gonna do anything you ask for, think again! Aw, oh, come on. I'm really only asking you to finish what you started. Besides, your paychecks are still in my hands. <laughs> Paimon's paycheck? Ugh, well, there's no way out now. We're in too deep. <laughs>